we on? Are we recording? I feel like we're a bit zoomed in. Do I need to move back? We've got a friend. Hello. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's decided he's gonna watch from afar <laughs> for this video. Hello guys, good morning. Let me just dab off the uh, dog drool. And anyone who finds that gross doesn't have a dog because I feel like every dog owner snogs their dog. It's normal, totally normal. Anyway, hello guys, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas Eve by the time you guys are watching this. If you're watching it the day it goes live, I have a very different video to end off this year. I might do one next week, but I am gonna potentially try and take next week off. But at some point next week, I'll probably upload a what I got for Christmas as it's a bit of a tradition here, doing it every year. So I will at some point, but just don't rely on it necessarily being on Wednesday or Sunday, I'm not sure. Whenever I get that done, I will upload it. Otherwise, I'm gonna take next week off and be back with you guys in the new year. Um, but to kind of like round off this year, I just wanted to give back to you guys. I wanted to do a series of giveaways within this video so that you've got loads of opportunities to win some smaller prizes, some bigger, some beauty, some vouchers, that kind of stuff. So I'll get into that in a second. But before I do, I just wanted to firstly thank you guys for all of your support. I don't know why it always makes me emotional thinking about this, but I just, I, th I think it's just because I am so grateful. I'm so grateful that I get to call this my job, that I get to work with the brands that I do, that I have all of you lovely followers who are really and truly friends. Like really, honestly. It's such a good community on YouTube that I also find comfort in watching other people's YouTube videos in the way that a lot of you tell me that my videos bring you comfort. So yeah, firstly, I just want to say a big, big thank you for all of your love and support over 2023 and of course previous years if you're a bit more of an OG and have been here a while Barney's come to lie down next to me now so yeah first and foremost thank you and secondly I wanted to kind of go into just a couple of things that I have done and ways that you could give back maybe to inspire some of you if you can afford to do the same and just couple of ideas. First things first is actually finish this one now, but Dunelm were doing a Christmas tree type giveaway whereby they were doing little tabs of gift ideas for a certain specific someone that you would take the tag off, either buy something in Dunelm, donate something that you've already got in relation to that tag. It might have been Christmas jumper or a toy for a five-year-old, whatever it may be. That kind of ended, uh, well, that was like mid to early December. So look out for that next year if you want to get involved with that. I thought that was great. They called it Delivering Joy with Danelle. Another place I've been into, John Lewis, they do a little, again, a kind of similar concept with a tree whereby you can pick off a little tab. I mean, these still might be happening with it being Christmas Eve for those crazy lot of you that are planning on going shopping on Christmas Eve. Hats off to you. I don't know how you do it, but if you are, look out for these things if it's something you want to get involved in. I think the lowest amount I saw was two pounds up to maybe 25, you just pick a little tab, take it to the checkout with your purchase and they donate that towards the charity, their chosen charity. Food banks are a huge part of me and my food shopping. I love to give back to the food banks and I find them really easy to do. So for those of you that can afford to, that when you're just doing your regular shop, keep your eyes peeled for the food bank donation points at the checkout after you've purchased your items. Morrison's are always really great because they have the bags pre-done for you. Sainsbury's is the one that I chose to do um, just to get a few clips to show you some of the things that I was donating. I did a bit of a bigger shop this time. Sometimes I just throw the odd thing like an extra shower gel or toothpaste or you know sanitary products for specific charities there are quite often I, I will say on the food bank donation points within the supermarket markets oh, I couldn't get my words out there a little list of things that they are particularly in need of say long life milk teas coffees um, tinned products are always a great one because they have great shelf life dried spaghetti rice that kind of thing and Sainsbury's in particular have a budget range I think it's called street food company at Sainsbury's or something like that it's really noticeable packaging so you will see it next time you go to a Sainsbury's I think prices were from about 19p for I can't remember what it was for something tinned just to add one of those into your basket 
at checkout each time you do a food shop or just once a year at Christmas, whenever it is that you can do it. And obviously I'm not preaching saying that everyone has to do this. If you can afford to, it's something that just kind of goes over a lot of people's head. Um, so I thought I'd just mention that I like to do that. If that's something that you think you guys would like to do too, it's just super easy and straightforward to do. So yeah, wanted to mention that. What else? There was also a donation bank in Sainsbury's, like a temporary one for toys for kids. So I did also throw a few things in for that. Again, they had suggestions on different age groups and categories of things that you could buy for. You don't even have to buy them again. It can be donations. You can bring it to the supermarket to donate it of like, old toys or things that you no longer want that are in good condition to be able to donate them animal food shelter as well there was at our local sainsbury's um although they did say they don't have dogs in at the minute so i made sure to focus on cat foods cats treats toys things like that to donate to them so yeah loads of different ways to give back if you too are in the giving spirit and even if it's just your time. For instance, when I was in Sainsbury's doing this food shop, I also helped um, a lady who was struggling to get the radio time. She couldn't reach it, so I offered, helped her out. Ended up stood chatting with her for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. And she was clearly just a lady, I wanna say in her 80s, that just liked to chat. And rather than shimmy along, I stopped, I listened, chatted to her about her Christmas plan. She was telling me all about her family, what she's doing. And I think she just wanted to chat. So I was there, open ears, gave her my time. It got to a point where she was like, anyway, I must go, but it's been so lovely talking to you. Um, and thank you for stopping to talk to me. And I'm just there, you know, just give your time, make a stranger smile, that kind of, of, of a donation if, if it's not monetary. Anyway, without further ado, I feel like given all of those things I have mentioned as ideas and suggestions that you guys could do, I feel like I want to give back to you guys too. So we've got a load of different prizes on offer to round off this year, this Vlogmas. So what better way to start off by giving something for free for you guys? So I mentioned this brand, DM Fragrances, in a PR unboxing recently whereby they sent me this discovery set, fragrance discovery set, set. And um, after seeing that video, they very kindly said that they would include a link and a code, which I will leave in the description box and on screen for you guys, whereby you can get this for free for yourself. So that's our first little freebie giveaway that you can all do for anyone that wants to get their hands on a free discovery set. And I have to admit, let me just remind you guys of the fragrance that I particularly love. Uh, where is it? This one off piste sensational now in terms of entering to win any of these prizes you have to be subscribed to the channel because you know i only want to give these to people who have supported my channel and are already subscribers so be subscribed to my youtube channel and then just simply comment below your instagram handle so that i can reach out to you if you're the chosen winner and i know some people here on youtube say that they don't have an instagram so for those of you that don't if you want to be entered i have to reach out to you some way so you would have to maybe leave an email if you feel comfortable doing that otherwise um maybe set up a little Instagram to be able to just enter. But um, yeah, that's the only other way really that I can be able to reach out to you if you're the chosen winner. So I would suggest if you have an Instagram handle to leave that, let me know just any comment. You can just simply leave your Instagram handle if you want to. But there is one prize in particular that is kind of location specific. I would love, because it was about this time last year that we were getting ready to go to the Harry Potter studio tour in Watford in London. Um, so I'd love to give two tickets to be able to go and experience what I experienced because I had such a great time. So that is location specific, that prize. So if you enter in the comments below, but you don't want to be entered for that prize, maybe you don't live in England or you wouldn't be able to get there, just say, but not the Harry Potter or not the Harry Potter tickets or something like that in your comment, just so that I know to exclude you from that won that prize so that's one of the prizes i'd also love to give vouchers for i'm going to do a zara voucher and i'm going to do a white company voucher because they are my favorites i'm going to give 50 quid for each of those i've got some starbucks vouchers i've got quite a few 
£10 Starbucks vouchers that I'm going to send out to some winners as well. So they've also got, um, they're actually all piled up over there, but I've got three beauty bundles as well of kind of a mixture of loads of different brands. We've got L'Occitane, Philosophy, Jo Malone, um, some tanning products. I've got a bit more of like a self-care one with neon pillow mist and some other bits in there as well. So three different kind of beauty wellness bundles. I do also have these, which I would love to give away. These are my, one of my favorite tools. I'm going to say one of, because there's two curling ones that I love. And this one is the Curve Creative Curl Wand, Curling Wand Gift Set from GHD. So I'd love to give one of you guys this. This is the one that it looks like. So it's kind of like beachier waves comes with the zippable um, travel case as well. So that's gonna be one of the prizes. We've got a couple of jewelry items from Olivia Burton, London. I'll show you these close up so you can see what they look like. How gorgeous is the packaging as well, by the way. Super, super pretty, cream and gold, lovely for Christmas. So this first item is a pair of earrings and they're jewel toned, which you guys know I love my kind of small hoops and huggy earrings. I love these ones because they've got the gold and silver. So I feel like it's suitable for those of you that tend to prefer silver or prefer gold. And then to go with that, again, another jewel toned bimetal watch. Very similar to my watch actually in design. And let me just get it out to show you. Well, I'll keep it in the box so you can see what it looks like packaged up. Because even if you were to win these prizes, but maybe you wanted to gift back and gift on, gift to someone else, then of course, by all means, please do so. And then, yeah, it's got the little kind of sparkly edging, really pretty neutral dial and the bimetal strap, the gold and silver. I just think it's such a wearable uh, piece that I just think is beautiful. So thank you to Olivia Burton as well for sending me those to include. So there we have it, loads of different opportunities to win. I just, again, want to thank each and every one of you for all of your continued support. I will leave all the information on the giveaway in the description box below, but put simply, subscribe to this channel, comment below with your Instagram handle, make sure to say exclude me from the Harry Potter tickets if you don't want to win those. And then, um, yeah. Good luck. I hope you guys have an amazing day tomorrow, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. I am sending all my love your way and thanking you. And yeah, I will see you guys at some point next week. So thank you so, so much for watching. Best of luck to everyone who enters and I will catch up with you all very, very soon. Bye guys.